I'm out here at the Claude Cox Omniplex on the grounds of Muskogee Creek Nation and in the background, this bad boy, the Muskogee Dome. Now why am I out here, you may ask? Well, it's because this great center, this facility here, is reopening for business. All kinds of things gonna be going on here. And uh, with that being said, gotta bring in the man of the hour, Mr. Roger Johnson, manager of Muskogee Creek Nation Recreation. And he has a lot to do with this facility and really what goes into it. So Roger, thanks for being with us on the program. Thanks for having me, Jason. Well, how about we go inside and uh, chat a little bit about this place reopening and all the things that it can provide for our citizens. Absolutely, let's go. Let's do it. And uh, here we are in the building and uh, things look great. You know, this is a great facility, something that not a lot of tribes have. Right. I know you're very proud about that. Very much so. I mean, as many tribes as I've visited and everything else like that, nobody has the 22,000 square feet that we have. They don't have the amenities of a full court basketball gym with six goals, a full-fledged wellness center, and all the gizmos and gadgets to go with it. You know, we also have a separate cardio room and the track on top of the dome. Or even if you want to go outside and enjoy you know, the whole facility as a whole mm -hmm. and walk around the whole Omniplex. You guys basically operate the entire om op Omniplex in that way. Yes, right? we I do. Mean, yeah, so like you said, people can go out, walk around, check out. I mean, you walk around the softball fields, like grass nice and lush out there, but Absolutely. it's really a great space and has been for a long time. As far as our festival goes and tournaments that we have hosting, whether it's in here or the softball fields, yeah. we have many people from all over the area come in just to view yeah. our facilities. Mm -hmm. Either they're taking part in recreational softball league tournaments or basketball, mm -hmm. which are whatever so it helps us to really highlight our attributes as a tourism and recreation department as a whole let's take a let's take a walk into the weight room you can kind of show us around in there and some of the things that people can do in there man let's go so man we're here in the weight room and i know that you're real proud of this facility because you know, you're obviously involved in weight training a lot, and been to different gyms and things like that. So you kind of was able to build this the way that you would like and some of the things that you know need to make it a top-notch facility. And I think that's what we got. Absolutely. Um, in the initial order of phasing of everything else, I wanted something that was really catering to us, the general population of the citizens and their needs. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna be the dust in a bucket in the corner type place of a raw, grimy facility. And we're not gonna be nothing grand and crazy like some of your top-notch corporate or franchise gyms. What we are is this is a simple facility for us by us. Right on this side of the room we have the dumbbells that go from 5 to 100. We also have the big display mirrors here that everybody can come in like yourself and see you just knocking your sets out. Mm -hmm. Focus on your form and everything else. <sighs> yes, I like to focus. Now we spaced our machines out accordingly. We have the <clears throat> chest press here, out in the way from everyone else, mm -hmm. as well as a high pulley here. We also have the curl machine here, <clears throat> the pec deck as well here. Okay. That way everybody, again, they're spaced equally apart so there's no interference or disruption of... I don't like a lot of people around me when I'm wailing on my pecs. I can tell. Okay. Part of my certifications and my credentials is here to make sure that everything and anything in here is used properly and accordingly. Beautiful. We also have our leg machine. This works as a dual as leg extension and a leg curl, hamstring curl, for others who ever want to know the nomenclature of it. There's a rumor out there that you're not approachable day after leg day. Any truth to that at all? That's complete falsivity. Good. It's the moment after for at least 12 hours. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Shut down. Okay. Shut down. All right, cool. Completely. All right, what do we got now, here? Right here we have the shoulder press machine as well. Again, everything's spaced out equally mm -hmm. throughout the facility. That way we can house multiple people in here, whether you right. bring your weightlifting partner or you're riding a solo recon mission, however you want to do it. <laughs> yeah. What's cool is it's two, it's segmented, uh, segmented into different parts of the body as well. Exactly. You got all your leg stuff over here. Exactly. Guys that are on the leg cycle can be out of the way. Guys on arm cycle. Exactly. Like now it's part of the strategy of setting it up just like this. Right. Exactly. Now as well as the cable machine because if you've ever been to any other fitness venue, the cable guys, they could get in the way of a bench press or like say a squat rack or anything else. We set this totally by itself that way whatever influence and muscles you're trying to work that day, you have it all to yourself. As well as the big power rack here, this thing was a monster putting it in Not here. Big. It's super heavy, um, can take a lot of weight and I mean we also have the safety bars for everything. I mean that lets us stand alone as far as and compete with the other power racks and the other gyms in the area as well. 
Well, that'll wrap up uh, taking a look around the dome. Um, obviously, as a citizen first, very excited this is back open, but I know a lot of other people are gonna be glad too. And this place is really gonna be the hub coming up in a couple weeks here at Festival too. A lot of things going on during Festival here. Absolutely, we have the three on three. We're also hosting uh, some of the entertainment that are coming in here. So we're shutting the place down for them, of course, so we can cater to their needs. Yeah. But also in the future, really looking forward to the programs we're gonna be presenting to the tribe as well. And yeah. of course, the citizens, fitness camps, nutritional seminars and stuff like that. So I'm anxious to get started. Just got a few last minute details to take care of and I hope everybody comes out and enjoys our facility. Absolutely, I, I enjoy it as a citizen. I enjoy it as an employee. It's a great asset for our tribe. I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. I want to thank, uh, say thank you and appreciate letting us come over and, and walk around and hang out with you for a little bit. Awesome, Jason, anytime. You got it, buddy.